Okay, so good morning from Coombs. So today, do some ethels. So I am going to go from Coombs uh, Reservoir and I'm going to do this one here, which I think is Coombs Head. I'm not sure. Coombs Head and then along here. This is the edge of the Peak District National Park. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go up here. There's no actual path, so the potential for me getting lost. But there's a little fort there. There might not be much there. Um, it's an Iron Age fort. Uh, quite a lot of those around in this area, and they will tend to be in a good viewpoint. So then, then I'm up there then, and then walk along to this one here, and then along to here uh, to Black, Black Moss Coombs Head. Which one is which? I'm not exactly sure. Um, there was another one which would be there which I think I will not do. What I will do is this little one, which is just outside Buxton. Um, so this is when they say the Ethels are hills of character as well. So that should be a really nice view of Buxton. Um, so okay, so this looks promising. Um, there was no footpath on the map, but there's a permissive footpath and that is going on and up the hill. Uh, yeah, so looking pretty promising that. So this is for any rock climbers watching. Uh, looks like there might be a few on there, eh? There could, looks like a few that I could do on there. Let's not push it. Cracking views. Okay, so this is the, uh, the hill fort. Quite substantial, actually. You can see that there was some kind of structure here, wasn't there, with uh, maybe a defensive, defensive walls, I'm sure. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to settle myself down here and I'm going to tell you a story um, about the old agent Iron Age days. Um, I, when I work out how to put the video up there, I'll put it, or down there, I'll put it there. Um, Okay, so this is the old age, uh, EOD Iron Age uh, story of sex and intrigue. Um, so, uh, basically, when the Romans came to Britain... Before I leave that, the reason that I can do this, um, there's nobody about, hopefully. Um, and that's one of the good things about doing ethels because with the ethels this is not a common walk there'll be loads of people at Mamtor, there'll be loads of people on the at kinder and all those kind of places but here uh, there's just me singing <laughs> and queen cartamandua and then voluptuous or later Venusius, maybe even caractacus could have been here definitely a much busier place than it is now. Okay, so coming up to Black Edge, Coombs Moss, which is our first ethyl of the day. I need to name my little camera here. What should I call you? Ethel. I'm like, no, you call you Ethel. Uh, oops. A little bit crooked, Ethel. Yeah, a little bit crooked. Okay, there we go. Okay, so Black Edge, Coombs Moss. It's a plateau-topped hill. Absolutely lovely walk. 
um, over from that fort. Just lovely, just all on this ridge. And if you look on the map, you can just see it. Actually, this ridge is the edge of the national park. Um, so that's a national park, and that's not. But there are some ethels over there as well. In 2001, the village of Dubholes was voted the ugliest village in Britain. But the railway station itself was the location for the chart-topping single Someone You Loved by Lewis Capaldi. So I'm just going to play the music now. This might get banned from YouTube. I'm not, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Worried that I was going downhill, and it's always worry when you're going downhill because in case you might have to come back up again. So um, I'm here um, at this little crossroads here, 506. Um, there's a wall coming down here, and that, and that wall is going down there. Um, this green line is the is not a path; it's the national boundary, park boundary. But I'm going to go down there and keep on that kind of level goes down a little bit and then round um, and then here and this is why you should have a use a map rather than um, GPS which I do do sometimes because on the map here is a place called round the bend <laughs> so uh, I'm going to go to round the bend and I'm not round the bend before I get there I will be have gone round the bend or I'll be out round the bend um, and then I just gonna come up there to this top there which is Coombs head and look at this <laughs> there's a path okay let's go I really should hone in on my navigation skills reassuring when you can find things on that so Nick Banks who was the second Kiwi to climb Mount Everest um, was my trainer and assessor for my mountain leader award and he is quite, he was very, a new Kiwi, very droll. We, we, we did navigation, I'll, I'll write a blog about this actually. If, um, I've already, I don't know if I've told you actually, if I do, I started to write a blog about stories from back in the day. And it's www.shock.uk, that's swimming, hiking, camping and cycling. So I did a mountain leader, I've not written this one yet, but I'll, I will do. So Nick Banks, yeah, quite a character. And and we did some navigation training. I went out with Helen. Helen, I hope you are watching this. And we did night navigation things on on, on areas like this. In fact, worse than this, I think. There was just loads of peat troughs, I remember, around Pendle. And then when we actually I did our night navigation, it was at, on the Lang, Langdales in the Lake District. It was like walking in the middle of the day. Right, so one of the things for your mountain leader is that you've got to pinpoint a... Um, an area and it's not anything that's that prominent so i think nick Bax paints a great a blade of grass and you've got to kind of navigate to that blade of grass and i actually found it and i was absolutely over the moon that i found this blade of grass um and uh, so we got back and i was, I was like oh, and he just said nobody likes a clever dick devs okie dokie <laughs> okie dokie Probably right. I mean, he, he didn't know that that was the first time and the last time <laughs> that I would ever be able to do that. So, um, quite a few things I've been thinking about over the over the last couple of days, actually, that he's um, talked about when we were doing that training. One of the things was when I was up on Mam Tour and uh, Windhill, you can hear the motorbikes. 
um, and in our training we, we saw mountain bikers and, and whatever and there's always like we have factions of people that don't like other factions of pe out, people out on the hill um, and basically what Nick Banks said at that time was that uh, you know this place is big enough for all of us we can all we can all um, appreciate it enjoy it and just get uh, the most out of it of what we can you know so yeah so we might get some other little Nick Banks uh, snippets on these Okay, so Nick Banks, the second Kiwi to climb Mount Everest, will be saying now, not so clever now, are you, Debs? And Ethel says, well, why is that, Debs? And that's because we left the compass in the tent. So, uh, not only can I not remember how to measure out 100 metres, um, I came off that path too soon. So I went a little bit walkabouts in the heather. Um, anyway, I think, 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 I'm okay now. There's a post there, and what looks to be like a track going up there. I think we're okay, so let's just try this. And now I'd be saying to Nick Banks, the second Kiwi that climbed Mount Everest, that <laughs> here we are, we're on a blooming road. Look at that, it's like a a track track so so yes i've got us out of this mess <laughs> of course being on a road um in open moorland doesn't necessarily mean to say it's the road that you want to take um so just to see where we are at um that was that stone shelter i came down there and then to the wrong side of that mossy area there this is Coombs Moss so that will be why that is named that'll be Coombs Moss itself so then I've come further along and then back this way um, so this is uh, what we call a temporary or that was a temporary misplacement um, it does happen on a go wild with Deb's adventure um, so this is just, I keep saying gorgeous, Ethel, we need to think of another word than gorgeous. So there we go. So I'm just heading up here now um, to find, finally find, round the bend. We've made it across. And Nick Banks, the second Kiwi to find, try, climb that mountain, would say, just don't diss having a GPS, Debs. You know, horses for courses. So well, I like using a map. You say, what happens if you lose your map? When am I ever going to lose my map? Well, somewhere out there is my map. <laughs> I'm just heading up here to what I think going to be the highest point. I don't know what uh, round the bend, where round the bend is, but I've, to be honest, I've done it, I've gone it, I've gone round it, so I'm not too fussed. Let's have a look. This is the highest point. I'm going to go Maybe to that bend in the wall. Let's call that round the bend. Poof! Gordon Bennett, well that was a hill of character. Coombs head. That was a very good one. Um, about getting misplaced, losing my map, forgetting to bring the compass. All those kinds of things happen. But they're learning curves, they're just learning curves. I used to do a lot of walking. Okay, so we're going to go and find the third Ethel of the day, which is one that just overlooks Buxton. Uh, and then down into Buxton um, for a cup of tea or something refreshing.
Okay, maybe a change of plan here. Um, that third ethel is over there, which means that I would have to either go up there and along or down there and up. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, plus, I need to get down into Buxton because I need to find B&Q um, because I'm having problems finding methylated spirits for my Tranja. I love a Tranja stove and at some point I'm going to do a video of all the what I'm using um, on this trip or and also what I'm not using um, which is quite a lot. Mm, not quite a lot but anyway I'm going to go through that um, and so one of the things is to have a Tranja uh, and I love it. I've had it years and years and years and years. Um, it's an old-fashioned kind of stove, but bomb-proof, um, quiet, really quiet, which is nice. Um, they talk about boiling times and all that kind of thing, but, you know, if it's four minutes or five minutes, who cares, you know. So, um, but I'm having a problem finding methylated spirits. Um, so I hopefully find a B&Q. According to my GPS, B&Q is over there. This looks like a blooming hill. Anyway, so off we go. It's been a really good walk. I've enjoyed it. Um, mainly because things have gone wrong. <laughs> uh, did some tramping over the moors. Um, Realised I needed to use my compass. Um, but yeah, all in all, a good day. Um, and I'm just going to walk down along this path here now. Ooh. I might see you at that cross up there. We'll see what that is. Up there. Uh, and then down to B and Q. Right. That, where that nass is, isn't an ethel. Thank heavens I didn't go up there. But this cross and trick point coming up is the third ethel. It's a three ethel day, can't believe it. This is Corbar Cross. I'll check that out. Can't believe it. What a day. So what a good day that's been. I've done three ethels without even trying. So, here we go. Let's get up to here.